Cleveland rocks. Cleveland rocks. Cleveland rocks. Cleveland rocks. Cleveland rocks. Uh, I've known about this bourbon for a long, 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 long time. Um, even before I, I started drinking like bourbon for taste instead of like just slamming whiskeys. <clears throat> um, I even bought a reading bottle. Like I've had this on my counter for like a week, and um, the bug got me. Oh, fine, let's find fucking finally record this. I have another one up there. Um, I'm not gonna do like tonight's school night for me, even though it's a Friday. Um, so I don't want to review that one because it's 114 proof, and I don't want to go into my workday too horribly hungover. Um. And I've got my hands full. Uh, apparently, uh, Zombie Dustin is way harder to deal with than Alive Dustin. Apparently, he had COVID when he died. And, uh, yeah, it just fucking reanimated its corpse. Uh, the government and I are, are doing the best we can. Keep him under wraps. Uh, just to let you know, yes, zombies are real. Um, and especially if they're degenerate, uh, sex deviants, um, I don't know, just perfect storm of this horrible shit. Um, zombie, or zombie, wow, I'm sorry, sorry to my actual friend, zombie, um, <clears throat> zombie Toby is surprisingly smarter. So, just an update on them. Uh, he is actually getting his master's right now and might be going to MIT later. So, he died being a deviant sex pervert and got resurrected as a genius. So, good on him. But he'll probably just end up being a sex pervert again, so who fucking knows. Anyways, to the whiskey. Um, actually, I'm going to read the back of this bottle a bit. Uh, the experts say that it all takes time, uh, that we need to let the angels take their share. So, for non-bourbon people, um, the angels take their share is the evaporation of the bourbon. I do know that. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's always been done that way. And we've been, and so the devil's cut, and if you ever heard of, like, there's Jim Beam, the devil's cut, uh, or in the, the whiskey bourbon, at least bourbon world, the devil's cut is like the bottom of the barrel. And that's generally where most of the shit, <clears throat> like the, the darker stuff resides. Because a lot of the residuals, of course, will float near the bottom. It's heavier. Um, uh, I could be wrong, but the, the devil's cut is usually the more dense part of the whiskey where more stuff is collected. I'm, I'm assuming it's the bottom. It's been a while since I've heard the explanation of it. But um, uh, the angels uh, take or breath of a whiskey is what evaporates. <clears throat> so, uh, t -t 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 uh, uh, technology is sac sacrilege. Angels, blah, blah, blah. What is the color outside the lines? Uh, d -d 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 -d. The 87. This is also called the 87. Oh, wait, it's done. Even creating the 87 was a step outside using it. Okay, so I don't know why it's called the 87. I'm sure there's an actual good explanation. But the font. <clears throat> Here's the thing. Does anyone that deals with Cleveland been from, is, or from Cleveland? When you see this, you feel Cleveland. Anyone that's definitely lived there or had to spend time there. When you look at this bottle... It makes me think of home. Um, like, it makes me think of, of tailgates, uh, you know, at uh, Riverfront Airport out for a Browns game or walking to the Jake, <clears throat> uh, see the Indians play, going downtown to, to see a punk rock or metal show. It's just... Something about this bottle makes me feel like 
I'm a teenager or, or in my 20s again. Um, going to do stupid shit in downtown Cleveland. Or, uh, you know, doing stuff in the burbs. Um, I was born there. I grew up outside of Cleveland. Uh, but it's just feels like home. Like, the bottle makes it feel like home. Ooh, finished with oxygen-enriched accelerated process. So maybe it's the technology thing. <clears throat> Anyways, this is uh, 87 horsepower. So let's get this thing off and get to tasting. We've got uh, got some muzzles in the in the zombie right now. Toby is actually allowed to walk freely. He's he has a, a shadow company with him, just watching his every move, because he's been a good boy. But Dustin, like I said, we have to keep him in a cage because. His deviancies. Do I got something I can... This is being an asshole. There we go. There we go. Fuck you, foil. Sleeping rocks! Um, magic? Magic. Let's go, Cleveland. Here we go, Cleveland. No magic. Sweet smell, even though I'm somewhat <clears throat> stuffed up. I do not have the COVID. I was put on blood pressure medicine, and it makes my throat dry. So, doesn't matter. I'm recluse anyway, so. But I do work with the public. Fucking dickheads. Okay. This is a light color for a bourbon. It's more, to me, yellowy. Um... Sometimes what my piss looks like. Oh, that's a little too close. <laughs> I know it's been two episodes, but I'm trying to not Icarus. Icarus? Yes, Icarus. It's Icarus. That's Icarus. Try. Man, I can only smell out of one nostril. Fuck. Well, I got sweet off the off the rip. <clears throat> Go for taste. So they went hard on the uh, definitely on the wood. I don't know what type of like woody flavor I'm getting, but that's that's what's strong and hits me first. And that's pretty much it. I'm not really getting any, like, in the taste. And maybe that's because my nose is fucked up and stuffed up. But as far as I can tell, this is, it's good. I like it. This is something I could have as a regular drinker. Um, I mean, because, like, right now, like, if I don't want to review something in a week, I'll grab a Maker's or... A wild turkey or a bullet just uh just to drink on because i don't i don't want to like because the whole purpose of this thing is one like comedy and the other is to try new things and do it on camera so sometimes like if i'm if i want to drink but i don't want to review anything like i have to go buy <laughs> shit i've drank already um but, but i hate that i like i love the new the feeling of new stuff um, and trying new things, uh, <clears throat> and I'm eventually gonna like. I'm gonna start branching away from uh, whiskey at some point, and then just start and I'll maybe every, <clears throat> maybe every other one, or start jumping into like tequila. I'm not, I don't think I want to do vodka, just because uh, it's very. Vodka has the least amount of flavors to me. I know there's ability. I'm not going to do like flavored vodka. It's like, oh, cherry vodka. It's just like the same way. Like I am, I've been discussing with the zombies, uh, with Toby and Dustin that maybe 
like uh, like they suggest like because Toby's like man I tried this peanut butter whiskey and I'm like okay like how is it he goes it's super sweet and but dude you can't fucking drink a lot of it I'm like I'm not gonna buy a fucking bottle of that if I'm not gonna drink it you know what I mean so <clears throat> um maybe if like if this gets going off I'll make a Patreon you guys can help me share the cost but uh right now I'm just doing this for fun uh the same with thing with my by the way my Twitch channel go to twitch dot slash dot com slash rogue me one uh is I don't I don't know if I want to do those because I think once again I haven't I haven't tried them I've only heard about the flavors like I'd be like oh unwashed used dildos like I don't know why you would make that a bourbon f infused flavor but two whose dildo did you use I like why the fuck now if they were like hey this is uh Scarlett J Johansson's um used dildo I'll be right on that shit um or Meg Turney or something like that like I don't even question I'm like why don't you just kind of use it as a stir I mean I won't even question it just saying um, so, yeah, like, I w oh, I'm just getting a lot of the, just the, the wood as I drink this. But it's good. It's really good. Um, definitely not a top shelf, but it's a good average drinker. This is something, like I said, just something I would keep on my counter. For me and just regular guests, um, if we are allowed to have guests, because two days ago, uh, I am now in the worst county in Ohio for COVID nineteen. No restrictions from the state or my place of work, so I'll probably eventually get COVID. <clears throat> Guys like my COVID beard. I'm not supposed to have it for work, but what they don't know doesn't kill them. Uh, so. Pick it up. If you're if you're a Clevelander, it's a good like you'll one, it's supporting a Cleveland uh distiller. Uh and two, I mean shit. Even though it's not as good as it used to be, I mean I still pick every year I pick up like one or two twelve packs of Christmas ale. Uh it's just home. That's it. You gotta You gotta get that feeling back sometimes. I love I love where I live. I love Columbus. I love Ohio, but there's nothing like that shithole Cleveland. That disparity on Mondays when your team loses, even though we've been winning lately. Uh, you always go home. So go home, and that's it. Everyone, try not to be assholes. This, everything's getting worse again. This somehow we're not in civil war, which is crazy. Although crime's getting way fucking worse, um, at least around uh, the city I live in, in Columbus. There's shootings and thefts and all shits every night. Luckily, I live right next to a police station, pretty much. So, <clears throat> guys, remember we're all on this together. We're all fucking human beings. White, black, brown, yellow, uh, green, purple, off-colored piss, whatever. Just, uh, we gotta get through this. I, I know I say some fucking weird shit on here. Um, I'm, I'm trying to be funny and, and, and take a piss and maybe take the edge off them some things, but... This isn't going to get better because our government, our, our government officials are all this shit's not going to get better without us, regardless of who you fucking voted for or, uh, you know, who you support. We got to we got to lift each other up. Listen, there's on on both sides of the fence. There's going to be people we're going to lose. The far left and the far right are fucking killing us. It's the people that are centered towards the middle on both sides of the fence. We gotta start loving each other. We gotta start helping each other out. This is this shit's hard enough 
Uh, obviously, our government's dropped the ball on this whole pandemic thing. Um, the stupid small gestures will go a long way. I'm just throwing that out there. Um, but I guess the Buckeyes are going to play this weekend. So go Bucks! I know they're going to win. Uh, I'll probably be working while they're playing. But uh, Also, uh, I'm a service person. So uh, I have to go into per people's homes. I don't necessarily have to, but people want us to. And they act like nothing's going on. This is another reason why I'm saying just love people. Because I get to see... A lot of stupid shit. There's a lot of people that don't get to work right now. And it's uh, it's horrible. And I know I'm not the only one alone in this. Because I talk to other people in my industry. That do the same thing I do. And they get treated like shit. We get treated like shit more than often than we don't. Uh, it's, it's more severe. So we're risking our lives to do things and then on the other side of the spectrum we have people that think it's like we're fucking nurses or doctors we're not nurses or doctors i appreciate the sentiment um but we're not keeping you alive um thank those people thank thank your your people at a grocery store or the gas station um they're more of a benefit to i think than guys uh doing your pest control like me um Installing your cable or internet. Uh, listen, are we putting ourselves in danger? Of course we are. But, I mean, even before COVID, we've always been putting ourselves in the line of danger. I'm just going to let you know, I've had a gun pulled on me four times in seven years. Um, but with this COVID shit, it's something new. I, I know I'm going off on a tirade right here at the end of a, 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 a fucking whiskey review. Wow, so far this is the longest one I've ever done. Uh, but just remember, we're all human beings. We gotta get through this. So, anyways, uh, if you if you've been liking these or anything, please hit the subscribe button. Please hit that thumbs up button. It helps. Uh, I never thought I would actually start saying that shit. Um, but I'm starting to get a very small following, at least on Twitch and on Twitter. Um, and someone on Instagram too. Uh, by the way, my socials will be down there, so I would appreciate it. If you are liking this shit, I mean, I do somewhat meld all the different things I do into one on my socials. So, yeah, please uh, like, favorite, subscribe, all that. God, that feels dirty. That really feels dirty. Um, all right, thank you. Bye. Go Cleveland. Go Buckeyes. Fuck Michigan. Just fuck those people.